Kano State Council of Emirs, the Emir of Kano, Alhaji Aminu Adu Bayero, the Emir of Karai, Alhaji Ibrahim Abu Bakr, the Emir of Gaya, represented by Taliban Gaya, as well as all other leaders. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Khatimin Nabi'in wa Imamun Mursaleen. Your Excellency, the Governor of Kano State. Your Highness, the Emir of Kano. The Emirs of the Emir of Karai and representative of other Emirs. The Chairman of the Conference. And also His Eminence, Cardinal John Oluro Femi, the Chairman of the Conference, Sheikh Ahmed Saeed Galadenchi, Chairman and Coordinator of the Organizing Committee, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I was only about 16 years old when my late father, the Emir of Kano al Bayero, took me with him to a conference of moral rearmament and registered me as a member. Moral rearmament is an international moral and spiritual movement now called Initiative for Change. Concern was promoting of peace, interreligious harmony, and friendship all over the world. Um, moral armament is situated at the Alps of Switzerland in a city called Co. It, was now an, it is now an observer and has an observer statue at the United Nations General Assembly. My late father spent all his life promoting peace across the world, religious harmony, and peaceful coexistence, and initiated me early in life to preach and advocate the same in my private and public space. This singular act has helped in shaping my thinking as an advocate of peace and religious harmony and makes it a point of duty on me to always, whenever opportunity avails itself, to pursue promotion of peaceful coexistence, religious harmony, tolerance, and mutual respect among people, in respect of their religious, ethnics, and political orientation. It also informed my decision to attend this national conference in order to lend my voice towards the development of religious tolerance, peace, and harmony in Nigeria. The country was over 182 million inhabitants, comprising of more than 500 ethnic groups. Nigeria has an almost even split between Muslim and Christian. At individual level, we have various economic and social political relationships at our boardrooms, parlors, and political meetings, which we need to export out to a larger society. As elites and leaders of these people, in order to show how we can live peacefully and in harmony without violence or mutual suspicion. Rising tensions along religious fault lines have therefore damaged interreligious religion relationships in Nigeria which are even more under more pressure due to lack of sustained and honest dialogue. This initiative, therefore, will serve to combat growing intolerance and mistrust among followers of various religions, particularly Islam and Christianity in Nigeria. 
to also provide a platform which leaders from different religious backgrounds can use to address interreligious harmony and other emerging issues. We urge participants to work assiduously to promote sustainable collaboration and dialogue for peace by bringing together religious and non-religious actors with national and international appeals, government agencies and civil societies to ensure peace, progress, and economic development in Nigeria. As we're approaching the 2023 general elections, we need to extend a word of caution to our politicians and all participants in the electoral process to trade in the path of caution. Decorum and high level of peaceful engagement through their utterances and physical conduct to ensure that the elections are concluded in the most peaceful atmosphere devoid of violence and unethical practices. We also thank very much everybody for giving us an opportunity to present our own perspective on this topical issue. We wish you a successful deliberation. Thank you very much.